Welcome back to Let's Play Construct Escape the System. Well, I just realized that the word resume and resume have the same letters. Not counting a little uh, notch mark above the E. Uh, what are we doing? Target. Target. Direction is target. I guess it's telling us to go this way. Has the target number always been there and me just not paying attention? target. I think I can reach a lot of these things. In the right area. Grade location C1 system core access. We are in C1 system core access. Let's explore. Oh, I remember. This is where I jumped off and got myself stuck. With my extreme brilliant decision of Let's jump and see if we can land on the circly thing. And then have no way back. And then we've discovered there is a restart button, which... If there wasn't, I would have just blown my entire save file and been very sad. Need to get to where I can trigger that. But from a safe place in front of it. So that I can actually land on it and not fall into oblivion. Wrong jump. Well, no, this one will work. Yes. I like the smoke effect in the distance. That keeps it from feeling too empty. This is gonna be... Oh, okay. Well, hello, machine orb. Are you what I'm looking for? I assume so. Because there was that machine orb cube over here. Which should activate the spring launcher. I... Where's my little gravity? It's behind that. Oh, oh there it is. I did still have it. Ah! You hold down a direction key when you jump, it can spring you in that direction in an unexpected way. Not unpredictable, but sometimes not expected. Ability upgrade! Triple jump! I approve! Oh, thank you, game. You've given me one of my favorite things. Well, more mobility in general. Run speed increase, multiple jumps, anything that makes navigation. Triple jump allows greater distances to be covered when jumping. Jump space after double jump on mid-air to execute. Delay the double jump and triple jump as long as possible for maximum distance. That's all that's over there. See, I can't. I see how it's gonna be. <laughs> there we go. Okay, we got the hang of this. Haha. 
And there's an achievement for it. Where are we going? I'm thinking over here. Yeah. That purple sphere over there is just too tempting. I'm getting further away from the quote target. But. A big bundle of. Ah! Low gravity nonsense is this? You saw that, I floated away. I hope that those where I get the orb upgrade. Teleport orb. Teleport. Oh, we're moving, okay. Oh, I was getting ready to jump. I can't jump off it, okay. That means it's invisible wall. Invisible wall. Teleport orbs are now active throughout the system. Teleport orbs allow limited range teleport between two points. Use the orb to initiate a teleport. Each use represent, resets the power level for aerial player abilities. Back here. Ah! Okay, so it's not what I'd call a teleport, but yeah, I can work. You can't teleport up, it has to be towards something. You can be up towards something. I see. I can just use it to wall climb? Really? Seems a little, uh, I mean, I guess unless that's the idea. Okay, now where are we going from here? I assume... This thing, and watch, it'll not be this thing, and I'll just place it. Admit that's that's like distractingly fun. Port orb. So that's why there's those things all over. Trying to get on top of the cube, thank you. It just occurred to me that's farther away than it looks. This was a horrible idea, John. Why did you do this? Yeah. Now we're getting farther away. Nobody saw that. Do it from this way. No, oh, wait. I know what it wants me to do. It wants me to change grab. I, on the other hand, want to do this. Aha! Ah. 
I did it my way. C1 system code. Where is orb? I has no teleport orb now. Those aren't gonna you know. say. Are they solid? They don't look solid. They are solid. Solid spherical. Polygonal spherical mass thing. Geodesic spheres, I think, would be what you need. Three dimensional polygon shapes are not my strong suit when you get past a certain number of sides. No dodecahedron, but that's because I had a dodecahedron dice at one point. Die, technically, I know. Found it in the playground back in fifth grade. That and an eight sided. I, uh, at some point in time lost it, though. I still have the eight sided, though. Anyway, where am I going? I assume this way, which. Oh! No! Why? Why have you betrayed me, Orb? I right mouse click when I should left click. That counts as a teleportable object, though. Oh, please. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted. I, I wasn't seeing the volume bar for the microphone go anywhere, and I was going to say, so help me if I've been recording muted this entire time. I'm going to cry. Uh, thankfully, that hasn't happened since, I think, an episode back um, of SCP Containment Breach. And I ended up doing work bubbles to try to fill in <laughs> in post. Okay, where am I going now? Let's see. Okay, those are tele. Okay, those are solid. I'm used to. In the normal map, the transparent objects are not solid, so I'm used to just kind of mentally tuning them out. I'm really enjoying this, the uh, kind of ninja rope style jump from wall to wall. Yes, you could call it Spider-Man climbing. Big fan of the Worms series. I feel obligated to call it ninja rope. I could compare it to the uh, Terraria grappling hook. I'm assuming we just do the same thing in reverse. Okay, doing this was a bad idea. Should have just bounced between the two buildings and done it really quickly. Excuse me for being quiet, I'm just locked down. Have fun. Oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah, yeah, that ain't gonna work. Why do you betray me? Yeah, system coal gonna f oh, I should have gone up there. There would be no time for me to make it all the way back over there and in time. But now we know where we need to go. I do like the uh, the fact that it has on-screen indicators to tell you how much jump is remaining. Especially as you get into double and triple jumps, it's, it's just really nice to know. Oh, darn it. There we go. 
And of course they put it behind a wall to prevent you from grabbing it from places they don't want you to have it. Gimme. Hello? I kind of like that the teleport actually has a fluid movement instead of just kind of throwing, uh, like instantly blinking you there. It makes the camera change a lot easier to keep track of. When the camera instantaneously changes location, it can cause a delay on the player trying to uh, figure out where they just went. Also, just the fluidity of it is pretty. Okay, now this time we go the right way. Now that you've been schooled in what not to do. Go up there. I see him involved doing this. Making me change the orders. Let's see how it goes. Oh wait, no. Aha! Ah Watch, I'll need the gravity orb way over here. Yep, I need the gravity orb way over here. Might be able to make it. Get on top of it and stop floundering. Why is he not climb jump? There we go. Even in upside down world gravity, this still works. Hello. did that. Now if only I had a clue where we were. Oh yes, over there. Is that the teleport orb and, you know, loop over there? This was a horrible idea. This was a horrible idea. Why did I do it if it's such a horrible idea? No, darn it. I missed by so little. Now that makes me want to see if I can do it. No, there's no way to make it. I can make it here, though. Death by fall damage. Haha! This did not help me at all. Aha! No, this did not help me at all either. Box. Does the box have any benefit? Box, I don't think where I started. That's so Ah! Game, stop trying to kill me. Aha, there's what we need. There we are. There we go. Okay. So, with this, I'm going to go ahead and pause here, and I will see you next time.